Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply a three-digit number by a three-digit number. We'll go through two examples together, and then I'll give you two practice problems that you can try on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we have 345 times 216. We'll start by setting this up, and all we need to do here is line up the places. So 345 times 216. So the ones place is lined up, the tens place, and the hundreds. And now we're ready to multiply. And really, what we're going to be doing here is 345 times 6, 345 times 10, and I'm saying 10 since that 1 is in the tens place. It has a value of 10. And then 345 times 200, since that 2 is in the hundreds place and has a value of 200. Then we add those results to get our final answer. We start with the 6 in the ones place and do 6 times 5. That gives us 30. So we write our 0 and carry the 3. Then we have 6 times 4, which is 24, plus 3 is 27. Carry the 2. Then we have 6 times 3, which is 18, plus 2 is 20. We are done with this 6, done with this 3, and done with this 2. Crossing numbers off when we are done with them is helpful because we don't want to confuse them with any other numbers later in the problem as we're working through the problem. It helps keep us organized. Now we move over to the one in the tens place, which has a value of 10, so we need a zero right here. Now we multiply. So we have one times five, which is five. One times four is four. And then one times three is three. We are done with this one. Now we move over to the two in the hundreds place. That two has a value of 200. So we need two zeros and then we can multiply. We'll start with two times five, which is 10. So we put our zero and then carry the one. Then we have two times four, which is eight plus one is nine. Then we have two times three, which is six. And now we add all of these up. And before doing that, let's recap here. 345 times six gave us 2,070. 345 times 10 gave us 3,450. And then 345 times 200 gave us 69,000. So now we add all of those for our final answer. We'll start with the ones place. So zero plus zero plus zero gives us zero. Then we have seven plus five, which is 12 plus zero, still 12. Carry the one. Then we have one plus zero, which is one, plus four is five, plus zero is five. Then we have two plus three, which is five, plus nine is 14, carry the one, and then we have one plus six, which is seven. So we end up with 74,520. Let's move on to number two, where we have 873 times 497. Let's set this up. 873 times 400. 97. So we'll start with the 7, and we have 7 times 3. That gives us 21. Carry the 2. Then we have 7 times 7, which is 49, plus 2 is 51. Carry the 5. Then we have 7 times 8, which is 56, plus 5 is 61. And now we are done with this 7, done with this 2, and done with this 5. We are moving over to the nine in the tens place. So we need a zero. Then we do nine times three, which is 27, carry the two. Then we have nine times seven, which is 63 plus two is 65, 
carry the 6. Next, we have 9 times 8, which is 72, plus 6 is 78. And we are done with this 9, done with this 2, and done with this 6. So we are moving over to the 4 in the hundreds place. So we need two zeros. And now we can multiply. So we have 4 times 3, which is 12. Carry the 1. Then we have 4 times 7, which is 28, plus 1 is 29. Carry the 2. Then we have 4 times 8, which is 32, plus 2 is 34. And now we can add. Let's start by adding the 1's place. We have 1 plus 0, which is 1, plus 0 is 1. Then we have 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 0 is 8. Next, we have 1 plus 5, which is 6, plus 2 is 8. Then we have 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 9 is 23. Then we have 2 plus 7 is 9, plus 4 is 13. And then we have 1 plus 3, which is 4. So we end up with 433,000 881. And those are our two example problems. Now it's time for you to try two practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. So here are your practice problems. I'll give you four minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to pause if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers whenever you are ready. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was four minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, 359 times 132 equals 47,388. For number two, we have 748 times 524. That equals 391,952. So there you have it. There's how to multiply a three-digit number by a three-digit number. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.